I mean, it's not good, but it's good enough. The My Drunk Kitchen story. <laughs> Stop touching your hair. I just can't drink a whole bottle. It makes me crazy. <laughs> it's mad froze. Ha ha. Take your real pain, turn it into champagne. on My Drug Kitchen, Hannah Hart questions everything. This week on My Drug Kitchen, things continue to be sloppy and uncomfortable. Hope you're into that. This week on My Drug Kitchen, we're gonna be making something I like to call a tuna melt. Why do I call it that? Because that's what it's called. Okay, great. Let's get alcoholed. Nailed it. <laughs> Cheers. Ooh. This week on My Drug Kitchen, things get a little fishy. What is a tuna melt? So, meow. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Tuna melt can do. So the first step in making a tuna melt is to open this can. Uh, fortunately enough for you, you have both a can filled with tuna and also a can opener. So gently apply pressure. Okay, you guys see what I'm doing? You're gonna have to squeeze with your right hand on the can. And then just, okay, wait here. Yep, that's it, that's exactly right, okay? Now hold the can above the ground and slowly spin it, okay? You're doing a really good job. This is exactly what cooking is like. Now this is the hard part. You're gonna have to put the can, you gotta hold it, you have to put this part in your mouth. There's no other way to do this, okay? All right here. Oh. So now you have your hands covered in goop and your can also has your lid smushed deeply down into the top. That's a good step. You're trapped. No, you're not. You're gonna find a way out of this situation you've created for yourself. Just give me one quick second. Ooh, tuna. Yum. It smells like cat. When in doubt. So you guys like this? Is this what you like? Sky high. Now it's time to eat so that you, uh, theoretically, you have a lot to accomplish tonight. Make sure you take care of you before you can try and take care of anybody else. Let's just make out. <laughs> I wish I owned bowls. Yeah. So bad. Tuna into the cup. Taste it. Mmm. Blah, blah, blah. That tastes terrible. Okay, take some mustard. Uh huh. Uh. Mix it up because you don't like mayonnaise. Because mayonnaise is super gross. And maybe when you were a kid, you ate it by the spoonful that one time and then got really, really sick. When in doubt, give your oven some loving. Too soon? What is the next step? Butter your bread? Ooh, what's this, champagne? Here we go, here we go. You guys wanna talk about, let's talk about, let's, it's pretty sound. Right, look at this, look at that and that. Ooh, let's be together forever. Whoa, too soon. Oh. Sharp cheddar because I like my cheese like I like my women. Edgy. Hey, let's get real, let's get real. Mm -hmm. When you drink as much as I do, it's important to eat a lot of raw onion to help support your liver function. So put some raw onion, oh, in your bra? That wasn't what I was supposed to do. Mm-hmm, tastes like accomplishment. You love fire. Woohoo! Fire is so cool. I mean, hot. Slap! Yeah! Cool. Wow. This is part of the tuna that got cooked on the pan. You guys see this? Huh? Okay. Pour the rest of your champagne into your mason jar. That's cool. This one stay right here. Here's your basic tuna mount. Oh, this little fucker. We got these tomatoes from the farmer's market. That's how you know I care about the earth. I'm gonna be inside you. Mm. I feel like it's best to live your life like you are an open face sandwich. That doesn't mean be desperate. That doesn't mean be needy. That just means speak what's on your mind. And sometimes what's on your mind is where can I get more tiny pickles? Pa, just respond. Even, even, da. Pa, respect ya. Tap ya, eat ya, cheese monster. I tall ya, ma, ma. That's what. I dropped the...